gonna stand right there, and Eric is on the skid. Um, the pilot chant is gonna bring the helicopter in, it's gonna be slow, just like now, it's real windy. When Eric signals you, what you do is you put one foot on that bottom skid and you grab his hand. He's gonna pull you right in there. You gotta kinda walk up. There's one skid, two skid, and then in there. Copy. We wanna do a radio check. Copy. It's uh, one patient. We're gonna be able to do the hover step. No need for litter. Copy that. Let us know when you're ready. So it's kind of exciting. Are you, what are you feeling like right now? You feeling okay? I'm much better. Okay. Puking for about eight hours. All right. You're, <laughs> we, we could do a big a medical evaluation here. I'm a physician assistant, but let's just skip all that. All right. <laughs> just get you out of here. So what's going to happen is there's the one step, there's the second step, and then there's the deck of the helicopter. Eric's going to reach out a hand, and you're just going to kind of walk up in there. Try to do it fairly deliberately, not real, a lot of jerking. That's a small helicopter that bounces around. I know it's a hard thing to do, but just move in there. He's going to have a seatbelt open for you. It's going to be just like a All he's going to do is reach back around you, and he'll help you buckle it. If you absolutely can't get to buckle, don't freak. Eric will take charge from there. I'll be getting in after that, so I'll be sitting right next to you. So scoot over to the far right hand side of the helicopter. He'll have the seatbelt open for you, grab it around you. In just a couple minutes, you're going to be down there. It's going to be an ambulance and a paramedic kid to check you out. <laughs> and you're going to be fine, okay? Yeah. How does that all sound?